students, because they haven't had years and years and years of thinking about a question, often come up with really novel creative ideas. We've always learned the information, right? You go to high school, you read the textbooks, and this is a chance to actually make the information. Well, I can spend hours a day thinking of how the brain works and why it works the way it does, and you know, when I'm falling asleep at night, those are the things I think about. <laughs> you bring the students and the faculty together over something that really gets them excited. The benefits are profound, <laughs> both for the student and for faculties. The value of the Undergraduate Research Award program is that it brings in people who might have never thought about research as a career. It brings in people that are really talented and have ability into a program where they can experience something new, something that they never would have thought of before. The URA is great because students uh, get experience doing research, um, devising methodologies, seeing how difficult that can be at times. Um, they get experience with having a budget in terms of figuring out how they're going to allocate funds. Um, they get experience in putting in a proposal that has to meet a certain level before uh, they'll even receive funding. It's not just for science students, there's also art students that um, are eligible. So what makes our program really distinct is the fact that the students get to choose. They decide where they want to spend their time, how they're going to go about doing their project. It's really exciting that they get to follow their own ideas. Mm -hmm. I have the most fun trying to do something new, something that nobody's ever done before. We have the possibilities to figure out and cure a lot of the world's problems, be it diseases or poverty or global warming. The estrogen that's being released into our aquatic ecosystems are being released by sewage treatment plants. Fish and other animals get exposed to these and they're, sometimes they're pharmaceutical chemicals that we release in, into the water. They could be agricultural chemicals like pesticides. So that's what Whitney is looking at right now, how these chemicals interfere with reproductive behavior and genetic expression. Ultimately that would be the goal to improve sewage treatment and remove the toxins from the sewage that's being released into our water systems. My study is basically looking at societal perceptions of guilt and blame in mentally ill violent offenders. So if people have inaccurate um, opinions of guilt in these offenders, then they're prone to making wrong judgments in terms of their sentencing and their release outcomes. What I'm trying to make right now is um, a series of organic iron containing polymers that have cobalt added to them. The goal is to make polymers that are capable of conducting electricity. I'm doing research with soil bacteria, so using them as a biological control for apple rot. So it's really relevant to the Okanagan because there's a lot of orchards here. I ran different types of Streptomyces species and tried to develop a new method for finding drugs um, using uh, instrumental analysis of the chemicals that these bacteria produce. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm studying how the hemispheres of the brain interact in bilinguals. So I'm going to study how um, the two languages are formed across the hemispheres, if there's any lateralization or anything like that. I'm doing a, a history project and I'm looking at the role of Italian immigrants in the Thompson, Okanagan and Kootenai region between approximately the 1880s and the 1920s. The ultimate goal is to write an article or to kind of make people aware of how important these immigrants were in our area because very little has been done on them and this will sort of be the first of its kind. My summer project is working on oxidative stress as well as some novel compounds that we were sent through collaboration in Egypt and we're looking to see if they reduce um, the amount of essentially bad chemicals that are released from certain type of cells within your brain. In Alzheimer's disease it's been shown that these chemicals are upregulated and do in fact hurt your brain. So naturally if we can lower them or get rid of them, there should be less damage and hopefully less Alzheimer's. I've always had an interest in research so I think this is definitely furthering that interest. I will be doing my own clinical trials and I'll have this experience to look back on. It gives you the confidence, um, like I know next time if I want to do my masters and go do research I'll have a really good idea of how to do it. All the techniques that I've learned can be carried on uh, for a master's program or even just working in a lab. I have so much experience just running samples and, and being a chemist 
not just a student. The networking, getting to know the professors. All of the professors here, I, I'm on a first name basis with. And getting to see where they do different jobs out there. I've met people from around the world now that have offered me a job. I've had people from Ottawa and Toronto give me their business cards and tell me their field is the new one that I should go into. To do research as an undergraduate was an absolutely amazing experience. People are going to take one look at this and be like, you did research as you know, a 20 year old kid, 21 year old kid? I mean, that's huge. We just need the young minds to start thinking and to get into research so that we can have innovative and creative approaches.